everyone, welcome. My name is Alejandra, and today I want to show you how we can optimize the code that Power Query creates for us when we are selecting specific rows in a table. Here we have all these products that we sell for running. This information is identified by zone, and I have the sales for every month from January to December. Here inside of the table, I'm going to right click and select get data from table range, or I can also go to the data tab and select from table range. I'm using Microsoft 365. And here on the left, I have the name of the query. Power Query names the query as the name of the table. So daemon running is the name of my table. Uh, I'm going to zoom in, Control Shift Plus. I'm going to hide the queries uh, section here so we have more room to see the table. And I also see that Power Query created a change type step here for me. So I'm going to remove that. And from here, we're going to start with our column uh, zone. I'm going to click at the row so you can see that the zones are A, B, C. But I also have this set set in lowercase, uppercase, all lowercase, and all uppercase. So I need to remove these items from my column. And now you see that the code that Power Query created for me is going to select the rows to the, from the table that is coming from my previous step source. And I need to provide the condition as a function. So that's why I provide each the keyword for a function. But look, it's saying that the column zone must equal A, B, or C. I don't like this because if in the future I have an additional zone, then Power Query is going to ignore it because it's only selecting zones A, B, C. I need to tell Power Query that I want to remove all those items that contain set set, and I need to make sure to capture lowercase, uppercase, or the combination of both. So I'm going to delete from the each. I'm going to delete all of that, and I'm going to say that I don't want that the text contains. So I have not text contains from the column zone. The text that I'm looking for is set set, and I'm going to provide it in lowercase both. And I'm going to provide the third a parameter for this function, which is compare ordinal ignore case. And I'm going to press enter. Oh, I'm missing one parenthesis. The parenthesis for the table select rows, press enter. And if I go to my column zone, if I load more, I can only see A, B, and C. So that means that my filter worked. Let me rename this step. I want to say rename uh, filter set set. The next thing that I need to do here on my column item, I'm going to click at the row and I'm going to load more just to make sure that I'm bringing all the items. And I need to remove the skirts. Those are not running items. But you see that I have several options here, and that is because here I have scared as one, and then I have scared, and then I have starting with capital and ending with two capital letters, and here is starting with two capital letters, so I need to remove all of these items, and I'm going to say, okay. In the future, if someone enters scared with a different combination of capital and lowercase uh, letters, then I'm going to have issues, right? So we're going to do the same that we did in the other column. I'm going to remove this part here, I delete it, and I'm going to say that I don't want that uh, this text contain. So that's why I provided the not first. And what is the text? Now the text is coming from the column item, comma, and the text needs to be skirt. And remember, there is one skirt, and everything else was skirt in plural. So I'm going to say skirt, and I'm going to say ignore in that case. So by providing a skirt here, because I'm saying that it needs to contain this text, right? So I can capture with and without the S at the end. So I go to the end, close parentheses for the table select rows, and press Enter. And now I go here to the column item, load more to make sure that I'm loading all the items. Now I see that my skirts are gone. Great. And we are uh, preventing for any other combination uh, that comes 
with lowercase, uppercase later on. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.